This is Salus 24, 1 through 3 in your textbook. Therefore, once the elections were held, hmm, a bit of absolute here, folks. Love this. Ablative absolute. This baby here, P, 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 the perfect passive participle. We've been doing a lot of work with participles and infinitives, so watch that one. Watch that one. Once those elections were held, consuls were declared Marcus Tullius and Gaius Antonius. So this is called a factative verb. It's kind of like the verb to be. It just equates one nominative, this one here, with another. This one and this one. So we know who the consuls are. So maybe this is the subject. These are predicate nominatives. You could flip it around since it is an equal sign. This action, okay, so I know this means which, but when it starts a sentence, we're going to say this. This action at first shocked the conspirators populares, and populares, you know, that's our special term, the populists, those who exploit the uh, democratic elements of society to gain power, and here we got verb. And Foctum is your subject, Populares, direct object, pluperfect, active indicative. Nevertheless, the madness of Catiline was not diminished. And here we've got the imperfect passive indicative. Right there. And subject is here. Looks good. This is genitive. Mm -hmm. And it's negativized by this. And here we have our favorite word, nevertheless. 